All right. Oh, uh, does anyone know if Paolo will be joining us? Should I ping him real quick? I didn't understand. Can you repeat? Um, just pinging uh, Paolo real quick here. I, I don't think, uh, I don't know if he's going to attend today. Um, I think that he's still on the road. All right. Is he there uh, with you? Okay. All right. Um, let's see. So let's kick off, as usual, with uh, intentions and distractions. So um, intentions for me today are to get a few meetings scheduled, which we'll go over in a bit. Get a few meetings scheduled to make sure that um, we're moving steadily towards this goal of being able to upgrade the commons soon. Um, distractions, uh, kind of a big topic. I, I totaled my car on Saturday evening. Um, I'm physically fine, but still a little mentally shaken up. So, um, oh, and uh, intro topic for the week. What is um, I don't have a good intro topic question. Does anyone play board games? Maybe your favorite board game if you play. Uh, my favorite is Splendor. Um, it's a little gem trading game. Uh, it's really easy to learn, but the complexity can scale really high if you play with people who know how to play the game. Um, it's also a very good game to help you understand your intuition of like, uh, the costs and benefit of circulating your money versus leaving them, leaving it buried somewhere. Uh, and I will pass it to Nugget. Hey guys, <clears throat> yeah, well, um, the intentions mainly just to sync up and see how, how everything's going and, and so, and distractions, none for the hour, so that's great. And as for board games, yes, um, I like board games. I don't get to play them that much, actually. And I think the game I've had most fun with um, is a... I played it in Spanish. It's called Si Señor Oscuro in Spanish. It's called, like, Yes, My Dark Lord or something. And it's like you, have, you get, I don't know, five people, and one is, like, the Dark Lord, and the other are his goblin servants who just fucked up really hard something. And the game is just to blame the of the, the guy next to you and like I tried this but then he 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 and, and so you kind of get shoveling the the yeah everything on, on the others and until it just breaks together and the last one gets the hot potato and loses. That and sounds... then, yeah it's it's very fun. It's I like it a lot. Yeah it sounds great. And I'll pass to um Tim. I, I will go classical. I like chess. <laughs> I think that it's a, a game that even if you play it from very young, you will always learn. Uh, so it, you can not, not uh, get tired of it. I also like Catan. And intentions for the call, I have been working on the migration tools um, uh, Oracle, and I would like to show it up, and I will pass it to Paulo. Which is your favorite board game? Thanks, Sam. Um, favorite board game? Uh, I will have to say the War War of the Ring which is a Lord of the Ring based uh, uh, game, which is like a risk, but a lot uh, like bigger and it takes much longer to complete. It's like you, you can spend like weeks <laughs> on, on, a, uh, uh, on a game, but yeah. And uh, topics for this uh, meeting uh, report my uh, latest work on on the AVM CRISPR, which is basically documenting and and <clears throat> and, and yeah, basically that 
and making some unit testing, but that's all. Uh, I'll pass it to Septimus. Thanks, Pablo. Yeah, my intention is like every week, just keep in the loop, see how Common Swam is doing. Uh, I don't not have any distraction. I my favorite board game is also chess. I I used to play with a, a, a French in Igualada board game, but since I was the newest, we were playing easy games, and even the easiest ones were hard to me. So. <laughs> Yeah, I prefer the classics too. Uh, and I'll pass it to uh, who is going to go? Grid? I believe he's going to go. Yeah, so I'm distracted by a truck that got in between my RV and the internet. So I missed some of your some of this intro. I'm really sorry about that. But now I'm I'm like, and my RV is like outside of the Starbucks. But then a giant truck just decided to park in the middle of the road and block my my direction like my wi-fi access so um I, I missed the games but actually i was gonna say settlers of Catan, but honestly zep my name i love chess i really love chess especially with a timer uh i love the, the vibe of just like boom 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 you know like rapid chess and trying to get a bunch of games in is really fun for me but also slow chess is fun uh but uh also settlers of Catan is a, a, a classic one uh, but I haven't played board games in years, honestly. So I'll pass it back to Bradley. I'm not sure who else was missed. Oh, Dosh. Maybe Dosh didn't go. Hey, sorry. I just joined late. Um, is it the favorite board game? Um, I would say my favorite one um, that's kind of a classic is an, it's called Abalone. And it uses these beads. And you got to like move these beads around the board and, and try to push out the other opponent. Um, it gets pretty complex. Uh, and other kind of virtual board game style, um, I like uh, Gods Unchained. It's a NFT game. Um, it's pretty dope. Yeah. I it, did we get everyone? Am I passing it to anyone else, Brad? I think it's back to me. <clears throat> All right, perfect. Yeah. All right. Well, um, so the big question here is how quickly we can get to doing a demo of the upgrade on Rinkaby. So uh, the sooner we can get there, the better. That's that's the ultimate goal here. Um, on the way to that goal, um, there's a bunch of tickets on the board. Um, and I, I've tried digging into them a little bit. I don't have enough context to know which ones are still valid and which ones are not. So I would like to set up a time with Griff, Sam, and Paolo as soon as possible to go over the board and just make sure which tickets are still valid, which ones and who we can assign them to. So um, personally, I would prefer to meet before, like before it's right now it's 8 p.m. CET. Is that correct? 812. If it's possible to meet before uh, like 5 p.m. CET or earlier, that's what I would prefer. Um, that way, uh, so is there a day this week, you know, between 4, 4 or 5 p.m. CET that we could meet? Uh, I, I will be moving this week, but I think that I can't find the, the time. What about you, uh, what about you Paolo? I'm available. Uh, I think uh, any day of this week is good for me. So, okay. whatever you decide, guys. What do you think about uh, um, or Thursday or Friday? Thursday is better for me than Friday. I can do Wednesday or Thursday. Okay. okay. Let's do Thursday. Thursday at 5 p.m. CET. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, good for me. It should be uh, 10 o'clock a.m. for you, Chris. Uh, hold on, let me look, because I was thinking. OK. Uh, no, no, fi 5 p. 5 p.m. Bar uh, Barcelona time, did you say? Yeah. Yes, I can yeah. do that. All right, sounds good. I will send an invite then. Ooh, 
I might not have emails. I can send the invite. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Um, and on a similar note, um, I think that it would be helpful for the team to have um, more than one checkpoint per week. Um, that's not, I would like to get, you know, one or two other meetings on the books. They don't have to be a full hour. They should not be a full hour, more, much closer to 10, 15 minutes. Um, but I think that until we, like, especially as we roll out the uh, test on Rinkaby, that's going to be, you know, multi, we're going to need to communicate pretty frequently to make sure that happens successfully. So um, I wonder you know, if we could get a meeting, like just to stand up for Wednesday, like Wednesday, Friday, maybe, or just Wednesday. Actually, let's just add Wednesday for now. Um, and I wonder if there's a time, uh, I'm looking at my clock again, uh, around like, you know, same range, 4 p.m., 5 p.m. CET on Wednesday that we could just, again, 10, 15 minutes every week. I, I don't think that uh, more meetings are, are going to be helpful. I think that we what we need is more hack, session, hack sessions. Um, or what? Uh, instead of meetings, uh, I think that it will be nice to have uh, hack sessions, like put things to work instead of uh, explaining. Or I think that we what we need is to coordinate. Uh, having the, the the screen on on a shared screen and and work together. Probably it's going to be more useful. But I, I agree that we can we can have uh, midweek uh, meetings, but I, I will go for something else, not not something like um, stand up, but to have to to start working together in the midweek. What do you think, Bradley? I, I think that we definitely it's so adding more more time for pair programming and things like that is probably a good idea. Um, especially since we need to be training people up on some of the more complex software that we do have. Um, but there's a lot of work that happens asynchronously, and I think it'll be really valuable to make sure people have a chance to check in about that work that we're doing on our own. Okay, um, we are already going to meet on Thursday. Do you want to to use this same time in order to have this first meeting? Yeah, I think that Thursday time would be a perfect, we could do the stand up and then maybe it always starts with a stand up and then some people leave and then it evolves into a hack sesh. Might be yeah. cool. Yeah, works for me. I think, I think the, the value here is just rem, um, reprioritizing in the midweek when we run into blockers or something that's just like oh yeah we were thinking we were going to do that but now actually it doesn't make sense you know and then like so we just reprioritize and say no we're not doing that we're doing this and it's like okay cool now everyone's in sync and and uh and let's hack sounds good yeah that's right um Griff, I'll let you handle the invite for that. Cool. All right. Okay, so the big question. The big question of the day is, are we ready for an end-to-end -end test of the upgrade on Rinkaby? And if not, what's in the way? I think that last week we were uh, in a point in which we were we had the um, common upgrade uh, of a gardens done, and what we need is to do this, uh, as we say, end-to-end -end test. In order to have this, what we need is to have a DAO with uh, some test funds and migrate it into a into a commons. Uh, I think we are uh, 
ready to test this this week. Uh, I also want to know what what Paulo thinks because he has been working in this specific part um, more than me. But uh, what do you think, Paulo? We are ready. Yeah, are you going to be available in order to uh, do it, do this together? Yes, I actually would like to coordinate with you and set um, a, uh, maybe a meeting or uh, um, this week to check it out to see if the common upgrade is valid, uh, that all the install apps are correctly installed and that all the permissions are configured as we intended. Hmm. And and check out also the ABM CRISPR. Okay. So the, the sooner the better for me. The only thing that I think can be a blocker is gardens, uh, but the smart contracts should not be um, should should already be available. So let's test at least this part, and if the front end is not responding well. We can fix it next week. All right. Um, I'm sure you guys are already planning to do this, but as you go through the steps of working on the test, please make sure to document out, you know, step by step, even command by command, uh, what we're doing so that we uh, basically can be writing a script for what the actual deploy will look like. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Sounds good. Okay, so um, this Thursday our meeting will, take, will be taken up by going over the board and, and tickets left on the board. So uh, I will not to suggest that time to do the test, but probably not the best time. Um, so you guys, you two, Paulo and Sam, will find the time to to meet and sync up on that. I, I hope we can do it before Thursday and. Um and see if there is any blocker and I mean, do you guys want to pick a time right now? So do you have it tomorrow, Paolo? Uh, are, you in, are you still on the road or something? Or you are more stable now? No, um, right now I can. Um, I'm more stable, so uh, tomorrow is fine uh, for me. Uh, oh. The only thing is not to have it uh, along with the gardens uh, weekly meeting, which is I think six p.m. Uh, CET. So any hour apart of uh, of that, it's it's good for me. Okay. Uh, there is also something else that uh, I think that it's interesting to comment now. Um, Green Hornet was uh, asking for some help on the EVM CRISPR for something related with gardens. So probably we also need to save some time for for them. I don't know what's going on, but it's on the gardens um, on the gardens uh, channel. I think that they created a new channel for that gardens EVM scripts. I don't know what it's about, but I think that it's about us. And probably they need some help. So it's worth to check it out. Uh, yeah, uh, I can. I, I don't see the channel, but it would be nice to maybe yeah have a talk with, with him and see what's going on. Okay. I I don't know if you are in the channel or not. I I will be doing it. If not. Okay. Sorry, I, I I didn't really hear a time that you guys were gonna like try to meet up. Tomorrow twelve. Twelve o'clock. Okay. Yeah. Fine. Okay. I got a small request from the TEC guys. Um, do you guys, would you guys be interested in um, jumping on on the One Hive TV that we just started uh, this week uh, to talk about TEC? 
maybe uh, I don't know whoever whoever wants um, say a few things about TC or whatever whatever you guys want really. Um, we just did our first episode. You guys, if you guys go to our YouTube channel, the One Hive one, um, you can take a look and see the style that we're doing. So, if you guys want to make some time for that? Not this week, uh, maybe next week. Um, yeah, just keep this in mind, and, and uh, yeah, that would be that would be cool to have you guys on. I'm a I'm a great rep for the TEC. Um, let's just coordinate offline on a time. Sounds good, Griff. Thanks. That's cool. Be looking forward to that. Um, okay, great. So let's just run through with, uh, the different items that we have here on the board or the mini board real quick. Sounds like, um, yeah. So I'm with the bonding curve. Do we need an auditor still for this? I think that's the biggest question on the ABC. Uh, I think that Brett didn't ask for any information. I don't know if he has some questions or if he started with it. Um, should I ask him or it's better if you, if you ask him, Brett? Yeah, I, um, I talked to him and the last thing he said to me, man, my screen is hard to see. Getting into the shade here. Last thing he said to me was, uh, he will let he'll let us know once he's had a look, um, and it might be worth scheduling a time to find to to discuss anything he finds. But he said that he is uh, it's like two thirds of the way down his stack, uh, so uh, I, I'm expecting next week it'll pro probably hit his hit his stack, and maybe. Uh, Maybe we schedule some time to uh, meet with him next week. I can do that. You, you're pretty free during normal hours them next week. I'll be in uh, next week. I'll be in Europe, so I can probably make like a normal time, like noon or uh, one or two work. Like available to. Probably yes, probably in the place that I am going, there is already internet. I don't think that it's going to be at all. But in, the, in any case, I will tell you. Uh, okay. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll make sure to like throw out a time to you and Brett at the same time and be like, maybe we'll just all join in a Discord chat and we'll coordinate from there. Okay. Sounds good. Paolo, maybe you also want to to come? Yeah, will it be possible for me to attend this meeting too? Oh my God, that would be dreamy. You, yeah, you, I'll, uh, I'll add you. To, you don't I'll, have I'll make. I'll make a, I'll even throw Bradley in the chat for funsies. Awesome. All right, there it is. Sounds good. I'll, I'll look forward to seeing the updates there. Um, all right, gardens. Last week, uh, there was some changing over the front end to support the stack. In the case of garden, the things that we need to do is more front end. Uh, last week we said that it was not so prioritary and we did not uh, touch it. Uh, the advances are on the migration tools part, not in gardens, I think. Uh, this pull request is, is from uh, Paul. Um, when we do this, demo uh, this week we will see if it fits uh, correctly and how it looks like i think that this is the next natural step to do the demo and see how the front end reacts to it so probably we, we can leave, leave it for next week or something like that right it's 
once we have the smart contracts as they should be, we uh, we readapt the the. All right. Mm-hmm. And how about the migration tool? I could share my screen now. This is the um, the common to create script that is creating a, a script that installs an agent, an augmented bounding curve, and a migration tools. And then it adds a lot of permissions. This is made by Paolo. But there is one extra step. You, you are watching my Yes. Okay. There is an extra um, an, an extra permission that is in order to create new votes when the we, we can only create new votes when all the tokens are minted. Yeah, and this is and this is very important because if not the first who mints the tokens can create a vote in order to extract all the funds from the DAO. So it's one of the most important things in the in the upgrade. So um, this extra um, permission uh, has to be done in uh, in the disputable voting, and the special part is to set this ACL oracle. So I created this set oracle function in the EBM script uh, in the EBM CRISPR, and it's here. I just. Um, I am just creating an SEL permission param and changed a little bit the the types. So now we have this granular permission and you can say, okay, you can create votes, but only if you are one of this list of people or something like that. Uh, we already were using it in the, in the hatch uh, for many things, for example, the the redemptions you cannot redeem if you have voted yes on a recent dandelion vote. This kind of permissions uh, are these granular permissions, and this next pull request is going to just provide support for granular permissions in the ABM CRISPR. This is what I have been working. I I still couldn't test it. But I hope that during this week we can we can create this DAO and and test it and see if it's working as expected. This was my my view actually. As as far as which DAOs to use, would would it be interesting to use one of the test DAOs that we already made from before? They should all have the migration tools and already, right? Yes, they they already have it. Uh, I was thinking on doing it on Trinkaby, so it probably is That's going right. from zero. Also, the the other problem that I see is that we were doing the the migrations to a new DAO that it, it doesn't it is not a hatch or anything. I don't know if I don't know if they are going to be suitable for creating this migration from these DAOs that we were using to test for a new, uh, in that case, commons DAO. By the way, we'll, we will start in Rinkeby. Okay, uh, maybe Paolo can have some more updates on the ABM CRISPR. Yeah. 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 So this last week. Uh, oh, oh, sorry, Bradley. Go ahead. No, no. The floor is yours, Paolo. Oh, okay. Uh, so this last week, I haven't be, been doing that much. And basically, uh, I was working on the documentation of the Commons upgrade repo and also was documenting the ABM CRISPR 
uh, functions, creating a API markdown file. But basically, okay. that's it. So um, not that much from my side. OK. But we, f we feel that it's ready to run, correct? Yes, yes. Ready, ready to test? Right. Yes, it, it's ready to, to test it out. Sounds good. Um, PET convert, is there anything we need to do here? I think um, not I, really. Yeah, OK. Peter wanted maybe to get to some analytic stuff, but I think that is now um, it's non-prioritary. Non, non so it's probably for after the upgrade and just to have it nice to have for the future. Yeah. Uh, there, there are a couple of, a couple of uh, issues that can be taken by anybody. Uh, they were assigned to Vitor and maybe you, Nagan, I don't know. I don't remember. Uh, just if you have time and I don't know how the config dashboard is, is going. Obviously, the config dashboard should be much more prioritary than that. Yeah, let's talk yeah. about that. Yeah, no, sure, sure. Like, like uh, we are focused 100% on the config dashboard right now, I have a feeling, because the MVP on the TC convert is already working. So, yeah, but I'll, I'll pass that to, to Griff, I think. The config dashboard is, is good? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, going, it's going forward, I think. Um, yeah, maybe Griff wants to say something, but um, we are working hard and uh, on schedule, I think. So it's, it's yeah. Great. Um, do we have, I just, I'm going to follow up since there's a note. Um, is, did you want to demo anything this week? Is there anything to be demoed? I think we'll demo it on uh, the Thursday Thursday call. Uh, we demo we demo on Tuesday as well. There's a params call that we demo on usually, and we demoed yesterday at the hack sash. So I feel like no point in wasting our time and demoing one more time. Okay. Gotcha. I feel like I'm okay. Sounds good. No worries. Uh, we, we'll. Uh, the Thursday, the Thursday calls are going to be our uh, the Thursday TEC community calls are going to be the params like, um, you know, what is it like? The goal is to show something cool and give something to the community to play with every Thursday. Uh, yeah. This week we're we're pushing to get out the the uh, a website where you can actually do the learning intro, and uh, and also the token token thaw parameters. So that that should come out this week. Okay. Sounds good. Um, excellent. Well, that brings us to the end of our agenda. And we already even had a demo of the uh, uh, migration tool. So that's pretty sweet. Um, anything else that anybody wants to cover? Or we're going to wrap up maybe a little early today. Yeah, I got a thing for you guys on Friday. Uh, we're doing a game show trivia thing going in one hive and if you guys want to be part of it and, and create questions and do whatever um i'll sync up with griff but yeah uh, if you guys want to join there's going to be honey prizes so yeah join up it's going to be fun it's going to be awesome it is at uh 1 p.m uh mst so one second here Throw, throw me on an invite and I can add it to some of our calendars. Awesome. Yeah. So it's uh, 7 p.m. UTC. I'll, I'll get you the invites and everything going. So, yeah, that's it. Thanks, guys. Fun. Love the community Thanks. building advan uh, events, Dosh. Thanks, thanks for giving us the heads up. All right. Well, um, that covers us for the day. Thank you very much, everybody. It's good to see you all, and have a great week.
Thanks, everyone. Have a good thank day. You. Yeah, thank you, guys. Also, if you guys, uh, I realize I don't have everyone's email address, like Pavle. I, we're, we're having this call on Thursday at uh, 9 p.m. Denver time. Sorry, I forget what that is. Or 9 a.m. Denver time. But um, if you want to be on the invite for that hack session stand up on Thursday, uh, give me, uh, toss me, DM me your email, and I'll add you guys to the invite.